Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Brandon here, and today I'm going to show you how to add your name to the ops list. And then we're going to go over some of the op permissions, the levels, and we're going to set those up as well. So if you guys like this video, please give it a like, make sure to subscribe, and always leave me a comment. I love the feedback. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing you're going to do is just open your server folder, double click your server dot command, and we're going to start our server. As you can see, this here is just a bash. It's just like a log of all the other things from your last session on your server. So we don't need that. We'll just exit that out. As you can see here, the new server is loading. And this is where we're going to add our op player name when you're not an op already because you can't do the op command while you're in game because you're not an op. So you got to do it at the console. So here we're just going to type in op and then your gamer name. Hit return and you can see the console opt Lucid Alchemist. So now that you've been opt on the console, then you can go in game and you can op other players. Now, when you op yourself, it's going to op you at a default level four, which is the highest permission. Now, when you op other players in game, it's also going to op them at the level four. So this is where we're going to modify it. So we're going to go back to our server folder, double click your server properties. You're going to open this up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to modify this code right here. I'll use command plus to make the text bigger. So here you see it says ops permission level four. So it's the default. When I op somebody, they're level four. Well, we don't want that. We can set it to level one, which basically all that's gonna do is allow that player to override the spawn protection. Say so you got a player, you wanna help, they wanna help you build, you wanna let them, but you don't really know if you can trust them, you can op them at level one. They're just gonna give them permission to build, and that's it. So then we got level two. Level two gives them a little more leeway. They can use commands like clear, uh, difficulty, effect, game mode. Um, they can give things, they can summon things, and they can also change some game rules. So that gives them a little more you know, power to use. So level three here, what we can do this is it gives them permission to ban players, to de-op players. They can kick a player, and they can also op new players. And then level four, that basically gives them the permission to stop your server. If they type in slash stop, the whole server is going to stop. So level four is something you may or may not want all your admins to have. And that's it, guys. So I always set mine to one, maybe two, just in case. You can always change it later. And uh, that's about it. So if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.